Hey guys, Dread here. It's early days, the network has just upgraded, but I'm gonna show you how to delegate your tau to a validator so you can get up and staking straight away. Things will get more fluid, there'll be better products coming along that make this a lot easier, but if you wanna do it in the early days, then this is how you do it. So I'm gonna post this so everyone can easily see this information, but what you wanna do is you wanna grab this address, poker.js, and you wanna paste it into the browser. Once you're here, you wanna select your account. This is my account here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to this little drop down, and we're going to click Subtensor Module. Right here on the next little drop down. the two we wanna pay attention to are Add Stake and Remove Stake. Remove Stake's down here, Add Stake's here. So we're gonna click on Add Stake. So what you wanna paste in here is the hotkey to the validator you want to delegate your tau to. So I'm gonna grab the hotkey here. This is Roundtable 21's validator. They are a global advisory network and they're looking to build products on top of the network, uh, of the BitTensor network. So we're gonna paste that in here, make sure it's selected. And what you wanna do is you wanna then select how much tau you want to delegate to that validator. So for example's sake, I'm just gonna put one, but we can't simply just put one for some reason you have to put in a bunch of zeros after. So what we wanna do is you wanna make sure you put nine zeros, that's nine zeros after the amount that you want to put in. So if in this case, I'm gonna put, I wanna de delegate one tau, so now I'm gonna put one, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's one tau, not 10 trillion, whatever that is. I'm gonna submit the transaction. I'm gonna sign and submit, make sure it's all correct. I'm gonna sign and submit. And then you want to put in the password you used to sign up uh, when you created your Polkadot.js wallet. If you want to create a Polkadot.js wallet, I suggest watching my previous video on how to buy a towel. It walks through all the steps there and uh, you'll be able to get up to date on this video. You put in your password. Then when that's done, this little amount changes. It was 9.68, it's changed to 8.68. And there you go, you have delegated your towel to that validator. As it's early days, I'm yet to find a way to easily view your towel being staked to the validator. There's not really any UI options out there at the moment. Uh, it's early doors, again, this is gonna get a lot better as days goes on, this is just the early days. So say you wanted to remove the stake from the validator. What we're gonna do is you're gonna use the same options, you're gonna select your account, select subtensive of module, and then on this drop down, you're gonna find remove stake. You're gonna make sure that you do it to the same hotkey on the on the validator, which is this guy here. And what I'm gonna do is the same process, but in reverse. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Submit transaction, sign and submit, my password. And then it should change here, it go from 8.6899. And when it's all said and done, there we go. 9.6899. So that's a way to show you how to add stake and how to remove that stake. If you want to delegate to a different validator, then just make sure you find their hotkey, a verified validator, paste it in here instead, and then you will be able to delegate to that validator instead. That's everything at the moment. As I said, things will improve as time goes on. There will be a lot easier options and this method will be a dinosaur and a thing of the past. But if you want to stake at the moment, that's how you do it.